Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see y'all. Probably why I never have time for the fake friendly when the sun is out. Not selling out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming out. And so finally, we've got some snow. So it's blue skies today, as you can see. The sun is beaming in my face. We're gonna go up there and get it. And I've got two awesome guests we're picking up. Two Olympians. One is Jared Hughes, who's the he won silver at the Pyeongchang Olympics in 2018 for border cross. We've also got another border cross rider, Ben Tudhope, who's the youngest ever winter Paralympian. And both are based down here in Jindabyne for the winter and they're training, but they don't really get out and free ride a lot. So we're gonna take them, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit and go shred and then maybe have a look around and see what else is outside of the resort. Hey, hey, hey. Throw the boots in. So you live in Jindabyne all winter? Yeah, down here for Fifi, which is sick. Flat white? Yeah, of course. So yeah, we're gonna head up to Threadbo yeah. and we're gonna go pick up your mate, Jared Hughes now. Yeah, sick. Can't wait. Have you done a lot of riding and training with Jared in um, the past? Over the years, yeah, we have, especially in the early days. Um, our families have known each other for years Yeah, now. cool. Um, but I haven't rode with him recently, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, I think this is his one of his first days on hill this season. <laughs> yeah, crazy, crazy. He's, he's been doing all his training in the gym in Sydney. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's trying to bulk up. Hey? Bondi Beach. Oh. <laughs> his, um, his budgie smugglers. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> yeah. And, and how did it feel for you when you saw him win silver at the Olympics? That must have felt pretty cool, like a fellow Australian border cross rider winning silver at the Olympics. That's huge. Oh, it was so crazy, man. I was with my Paralympic team over. I think we were in a hotel in Canada at the time training because yep. our Paralympic Games are only a month away and just to see him go out and do it was such an inspiration yeah. to, to all of us. And That's really yeah, cool. It really lifted us up and um, got us in the mood to train, to yep. try and achieve the best we could because we saw him do it. Sick. Yeah. And you're, uh, you're actually the youngest ever Winter Paralympian. Yeah, yeah, world's youngest. That's pretty it's cool. Crazy, crazy. World's youngest. Man. And I read last night that the person before you was Michael Milton, who's also Australian. He's also a Threadbow local. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Australia does produce them young. Um, Australians are just dominating. Yeah, exactly. Richie. Hey, mate. Whereabouts are you? Are you? Are we just outside Ridge's reception? Oh, perfect. I'll be up in a sec. All right. See you, mate. How you going, mate? Hey, Betty. Yeah, it will be sick to get you and Tuddy up there. Kind of water cross course to riding some power. We were just talking, I was just talking to Tuddy before about when you won your silver medal at Pyeongchang at the Olympics. And you know, he was talking about how it just kind of motivated everybody to train harder and ride harder. Australians are just like dominating the competitive circuit at the moment. Since the Olympics, I've just been living off that glory forever. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, Silver medal though, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty cool. Like, I got to tick off some bucket list items. One X. One X Games. Which was sick. It's, it's crazy, like, Australia is such a small piece of the pie when it comes to snow and the snow industry and snowboarding in general. And for you guys to just be at the top of your field in that internationally is incredible, you know? Like, the States have so many people in Europe and Canada but the Australians are just really holding it down. It's kind of funny that we produce so many good and dominant athletes yeah. across a whole range of different sports. Yeah. It is crazy. Oh, really? Are those mine? <laughs> no, these mine. Oh. Can he forget his boots? Oh. <laughs> Val, how are you going? We'll see you on the mission yeah. next week, Val. Alright, we got some crew behind us. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh god, I've been running now. Up early when the sun is out. Not setting out my own soul, but those real ones, they coming now. Oh look who's reaching now. Oh friends wanna feature now. They Probably one of the funnest things about riding in Oz is you get this amazing snow, but you're warm all the time. Yeah, it's hero snow. Don't worry, so they need a free. Ooh. Stepping up. 
So you're world champ at the moment. Like as of today, you're the best Paralympic border cross rider in the world. Yeah, the, the, the number one next to my name. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible, mate. I mean, how old are you? You're 20 years old. 20. Yeah. 20. Yeah. And you went to the winter Paralympics yeah. in Sochi when you were 14. Yeah. Yeah. I I was super lucky. Uh, I, I actually got a wild card to go to those um, Sochi Paralympic Games. Yep. That was my first year on tour and I luckily got some good results um, just so the International Paralympic Committee kind of saw who I was and saw that I was the future of the sport. Yep. And sick. so they gave me a wild card to really go and experience those games and I had the funnest time That's there. That's awesome. I was like a kid in a candy store <laughs> yeah. at the biggest event in the world. So. Just got down the bottom, cracked the mountain to bits. It's a, what's the time? 11.30 and we're done, but there's one more run that we want to do. So we're going to go up to the top again and do dead horse. All right, so we're just going to whip the car out. Doesn't get better than this. So we're going to head out and we're going to traverse across to get into dead horse gap. It'll be a really long night run. Old town, but there's no show, so I go down to the open mic, show love to the real ones they know now. Some of y'all don't know now. In a couple months, you're gonna find out. Been blowing up from the underground, and they stepping on a landmine now. And he knows it's my time now. Coming up, I'm on a climb now. Everybody kind of been bottom, but it's looking like they took a time out. Okay, I'm working on a Wednesday, they up a pretty much a snowboard to the cars. Boys. Cheers guys. Alright, so that's a wrap. That was by far the best mission in terms of just conditions. I mean, to have Ben and Jared, me trying to keep up with them on the mountain all day, ripping around. It was incredible to watch you guys ride and get you outside of the border cross course. Literally the most perfect day. Cheers guys. Cheers. And um, Cheers, man. here's Cheers, to many man. more days like this. Yeah, perfect. Woo.